Shocking conditions at a public housing complex in Opelika. Rats and snakes infesting every building, and many residents don't even have working toilets. Local 10's Cody Weddle is live to show us the filth some are being forced to live in. Cody. And Louis, these buildings are privately owned, but the rent for tenants is federally subsidized. As you said, there are some pretty shocking tells today. We're talking about rats, snakes, raw sewage in these apartments. The city of Opelika now wants the federal government to step in. A snake infestation. Yes, you heard it. Mouse traps that don't only catch mice, but also the snakes chasing after them. These photos taken at the Glorietta Gardens apartment complex in the 1300 block of Opelika. The problems here go beyond rodents. You all have been living with floods, raw sewage, rats, roaches, snakes. The feces was coming up out of the kitchen sinks of the units. Inside the 251 units here, people like Jasmine Wimes. My son, he takes over 20 medicines due to chronic asthma. He developed a lung disease, a throat disease. Um, he started catching sieges. She blames those conditions on the mold. Her son also recently developed an unexplained rash. The city of Opelika hoping to draw attention to the squalid conditions of the complex, recently carrying out an inspection of the buildings. They're calling on the Department of Housing and Urban Development to take action with the private owners and management company. The residents of the city of Opelika will no longer live like this in these conditions, and we are, we are not going to tolerate it another day. The management company and owners have so far not cooperated with the city, and city leaders worry the building may eventually need to be condemned. I have mushrooms, the mushrooms, which are the last stages of the mold, they're growing from the rooftop in my kitchen. And we have just received a statement from HUD. It reads, the conditions reported to HUD of several units at this privately owned property in the city of Opelika are unacceptable. We have received a list of violations from the city and we will coordinate with them should they take action to condemn any units or determine any to be uninhabitable. They did also include some contact information with HUD. If any residents here feel that their needs or their issues have not been addressed, we will include that information on our website, local10.com. For now, we're live here in Opelika. I'm Cody Weddle, Local 10 News. It was poor residents, right? Thank you, Cody. Student